Before we get going, just a quick reminder, if this video gets 30 likes within the first 24 hours of it going live, I am going to be giving away a free one month subscription to our Discord server as long as you leave a comment below and you're a subscriber. So smash that like button and let's get trading. Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back at it with another 10 minute trades video. And I'm sure this is one that a lot of people were asking for and looking for, and that is good old Tesla. And I chose to do this one because actually looking at Robinhood, the last trading day, which was yesterday, Tesla was actually the second most popular stock on Robinhood or the second most held stock. So I know a lot of viewers and a lot of people that use Robinhood and other brokers are gonna be looking at this DD. So let's get right into it. So Tesla has been a rocket ship lately, right? A lot of hype around it, maybe a little bit of memeing around it, but as we can see, Tesla's been trading for quite some time, but it's just taken off to the moon recently, right? The share price has just skyrocketed, right? We can see all the way back until 2018, for the past two years, it's been trading, you know, adjusting for the split now between about $50 and $75, let's say. But then recently, this year, it really took off. Pre-illness, it reached a peak of about 189, let's just say 190 to keep it an even number. And then peak illness, it went all the way down to about $70. But ever since then, as I'll zoom out, it's basically gone parabolic, as you can see. And I'm gonna talk about this, but you know this past month, or just a few weeks ago, Tesla had their split. So there's a little bit of, uh, I wanna say confusion, or muddiness in this area of the stock graph. I think a lot of it because of the split. So this was actually probably one of the harder technical analyses that I've done so far, for me at least, because I just couldn't get a good grip on really what's going on here. And I think that's because a lot of the hype and memeing, especially around the stock split this past month. So let's get right into it. So as you know, one of the first things I do is I look at the Fibonacci retracements levels. And I started it at the peak illness level or the recent low, which was about $70 back on March 18th. And then I drew it to the recent high, which was about $504. And that occurred on September 1st, so not too long ago. And as you can see, right now, we are trading between the zero and the 23.6% Fibonacci level here, which is just at pretty much exactly $400. So we'll have to see because this area of the graph was really hard for me to interpret. And I'm not sure if this is actually going to act as an area of support at around 400, but it may just because 400 is a nice and even and round number and people, and I'm assuming algorithms generally like kind of round whole numbers. So 400 just may be an area of support just because it's exactly 400, but let's just hide this for now so it doesn't get too muddied. And let's just start with drawing out some potential areas of support and resistance. So one of the first things I identified was, and I didn't really even wanna draw these graphs, but you can see there's a little gap here and a little gap here. I mean, these gaps are from about, if we just zoom in a little bit here, from about 228 to about 235. So let's just say from you know 230 to 235, so about a $5 wide gap here. There's another gap here from about 245, let's say, to roughly 250. So again, another kind of $5 wide gap there. We still have a ways to go. I mean, that's actually half of where the share price is currently. And like I said, they're so small and so far away. I debated even drawing these things, but I think the gap is there. And as we can see, you know, Tesla has not traded at that level, even going back in time. So that is a gap that has not technically gotten filled yet. But for the time being, we'll just leave it on there and see how the rest of the graph and the technical analysis shakes out. But let's start drawing some more trend lines here. So the first thing I noticed was here, I had to draw this trend line. And you're probably looking at this thing, well, it's purple, and what is this trend line? I drew this trend line because this is at $420. And I feel like the memers out there, they're gonna be looking at 420 for support right now because it's trading above it, maybe resistance if it goes down below it. But this is basically my memeing trend line. And I felt like for Tesla, you had to draw this line because for some weird reason, I really think that this is gonna act as an area of support or resistance right now. But we'll just keep that up there. I colored it in purple so it sticks out, but let's draw some more serious trend lines. And I started drawing these trend lines down here because I think this is an area of support around 273. 
because this is where we have the top of this candle here, bottom of this candle here, bottom of this wick, bottom of this wick, bottom of this wick, bottom of this candle. So you can see from about July 6th all the way to August 11th, it's kind of bounced off this support line here, 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 back again in the end of July, and then again most recently in the beginning of August till we took off from that. So I think this is an area of support at 273, but again, it's very far away from where our current share price is. So let's just keep going. I think another area of support is right here at about 368, 369, 370. And I drew this because like I said, this area of the graph was very hard to interpret because this is pretty much where the stock split happened. So you can see, you know, we had this run up, then we had this recent downturn in the market overall. So we had a little bit of a sell off and now we're rallying again, even though the market kind of started selling off still the past few trading days but Tesla does what Tesla does. So I had a hard time actually finding where I thought a good support level was just because there wasn't a lot of data at this price range. Again, zooming out, Tesla has never really traded this high of a share price until recently. So there's not a lot of trading days in this price range. But I did think that around 370 because you had the top of this wick and candle, bottom of these two wicks, top of these two wicks, and basically the bottom of these two candles and the bottom of this wick. Because once on August 17th to August 18th, we broke above 370. You can see it bounced off it, traded up. We did break below it, but then again, we bounced off it again on September 10th and 11th and then rallied up higher. So I do think 370 is an area of support right now, but let's keep working. So I think there's another area a little bit lower down of support at around 330 because you have the top of these candles here all the way back in July. You have the bottom of this candle here in about mid-August, the bottom of this wick also in mid-August, and then the most recent low on August, September 18th with the bottom of this candle. Because again, so back in July, we hit resistance, came back down, hit resistance, hit resistance, hit resistance, came back down. We finally broke above it on August 17th, rallied up hard, came back down, hit the support, and then bounced off it again. So I think 330 is also an area of support for Tesla right now. Let's keep going. So. This is all time high. So I just drew a trend line up here as an area of resistance at about basically $500 because you know, anytime you're gonna try and set new all time highs, you're also gonna be met with a little bit of resistance there. So I drew that as a all time high resistance level. And then lastly, I drew an area of support here. And this is the area that I was probably the least sure about because again, there's not a lot of data here. This is where the recent split happened and also the recent market sell off. So it was really hard finding an area of support here, but I didn't, I felt like I had to because currently the stock is trading at 440 and I found it hard to believe that the most closest support level was all the way down to 370. I thought there had to be something closer to where the current share price is. I mean, that could be this meme trend line of 420 to be honest with you, but as a more a serious trend line, I think there might be something around 405 because you have the bottom of this week here recently on September 17th. Basically the bottom of this candle and the bottom of these two wicks here in early September as well. And then the top of this candle, the bottom of this candle here in end of August. So I do think somewhere around 405 is a real area of support. But again, I'm least confident about this trend line compared to the other ones I drew, but we'll just keep it up there and see what happens to see if the data supports that moving forward. So right now then, I think Tesla is trading at 442 between basically an all time high resistance level of 500 and this meme support level at 420 and a more serious support level at basically 400, 405. So there is quite a big trading range here in my opinion between about 400 and 500 right now where Tesla could trade under. And that could be a little bit concerning. Let's just draw the Fibonacci retracements again to see where that level lies. So that 23.6% Fibonacci level again is pretty much at 400, really close to this support line that I drew. So I think, you know, if we ignore this meme trend line here, I think Tesla's gonna trade right now between 400 and 500 with reckless abandon basically because I don't see any other levels of support. Maybe, I'm gonna hide this for now, maybe there's something around here in the 440s because you have the bottom of this wick, the bottom of this candle, the bottom of this candle. So we could draw another trend line here at about 435. So, but it's very close to 442, the current share price and Tesla likes to move a lot in even a single trading day. So maybe there's a support level around 430, but again, you know, don't quote me on that. I mean, don't quote me on anything because none of this is financial advice. This is all just my opinion. But 
yeah, like I said in the beginning of this video, it's very hard to figure out what Tesla has been doing recently and where the kind of support and resistance levels are. The one thing I will say, I'm gonna hide some of these lines just to clean up the chart a little bit, is the other thing that was difficult was drawing a trend line on Tesla. So one thing I did notice was it's been trading above this orange line here, which is the 21 day moving average and also above the 50 day moving average, which is the pink line. And that's actually a pretty bullish sign because as you can see, every time it's touched the 21 day moving average, it's basically bounced off it. Yes, it dipped below it here, promptly came back up, again, dipped below it, came back up. We bounced off it again on Thursday, September 17th. This wick came close to bouncing off it again yesterday, the last trading day. So. I think Tesla is in a bullish uptrend and it looks like every time it closes near the 21 day moving average, it bounces off that. So right now that 21 day moving average is basically at 420, you know, come next week, it's probably gonna be in the low to mid 420s as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Now I tried to draw a trend line and this was very difficult because I started it again during peak illness in the middle of March. And then my question was, well, how do I draw this line? Do I draw it touching the bottom of these wicks here? Because then, and then all the way to the recent low here on September 8th, because then you can see it's trading above it, above it, trade below it, then finally rallied back above it, a little bit below, came back off it, bounced off it, and now it's really far above it. Or do I change the angle of this and make it incorporate, you know, kind of ignore the recent lows and make it something more like this, where it's got a little bit more of of a variety or a variation between up and below and you know draw it to basically the most recent low on Thursday on September 17th. So this was very hard because this I feel like is more accurate because it's more in line with the 21 day moving average. But you know, I don't know. This is going to be a hard thing whether I draw the trend line something like this or something like this. And then the other thing was okay, I said I said let me try and draw a channel. I had the same problem. I'm gonna hide the trend line or I'll keep it there for now, but do I draw the trend line to the bottom of these wicks, which is very shallow, right? Because as you can see, that means then that Tesla bounced off this channel on the top of it and rallied above it. That might signal that Tesla is very overvalued right now because as you can see back here, it's been trading this channel pretty cleanly, broke out of it, came back down, again, stayed above it and then bounced off it. Or do I change this trend line and make it more like this, where I kind of even open this up and then say, all right, the trend is probably something more like this, where I'll use this and it's been trading in the channel the whole time, and now we're trading at the top of the channel. Because that might mean that Tesla's gonna come back a little bit towards the middle and drop or be red for the next few days. So this trend line and this channel, I am not too certain about, because you could make them you know, however you wanted, depending on where you drew the lines and how you drew the angles. So we'll have to wait and see what Tesla does. I think honestly, because Tesla is such an overhyped stock in my opinion, I think that the more flat trend lines, like something like this, in my opinion, are probably the more accurate trend lines. And that's actually kind of scary because then that means that Tesla wants to kind of come back down eventually to like the mid to high 300s compared to the low 400s where it's trading. So yeah, Tesla's a bit of a scary stock. It moves a lot intraday. You know, any sort of tweet, or news can just you know send this stock to the moon or just send it come crashing down. So yeah, I personally only traded a spread on Tesla once because honestly this stock scares me, but a lot of Robinhooders are trading. It's the second most popular held stock on Robinhood. So you know more power to you. But that's basically my 10 minute trading analysis on Tesla. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Let me know what ticker you want me to do next. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, happy trading.